Father's Day is quickly approaching. It's on the 21st of June, which I know a lot of you are probably thinking that's actually not quickly approaching. That's nearly what? Yeah, that's about two months from now. Um, No, it is quickly, quickly approaching. And the sooner you act on it, the more money you set to make. For me, when I did my Father's Day shirt, it was the single most profitable design I did. Now, I know I say I have designs like my surnames design and my jobs designs that as an overall niche made more money. But in terms of the single most profitable design, it was my Father's Day design. Okay, and that just said top dad. Super easy. All right, really, really easy. Barely an inconvenience. So what I want to say to you is, I don't want to hit that. I want to say to you is, If you are interested in print on demand, if you want to do any sort of print on demand, this is the video you have got to be watching because in this video, I'm going to show you the exact targeting on Facebook, which I know a lot of you want to see, right? I'm going to actually go into Facebook on my computer and show you how to target Father's Day t-shirts and the psychology behind it. I'm going to show you different Father's Day designs and I'm going to... The designs I'm going to show you are going to be designs you can't really use, but just to get your creative juices flowing. And I'm going to give you, like actually give you some Father's Day ideas for t-shirts, okay? So definitely stick around, watch this video, watch the whole thing through. Just, Just keep watching. Don't get disgruntled or anything because I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm not going to blag and I'm going to be brutally blunt and honest. So... We're gonna get started in about 15 seconds. First, I just wanna say, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. 70% of you haven't subscribed, and I'm trying to get to 10,000 here, and the only way to do that is if you subscribe. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, because I know you're gonna love the videos that I'm bringing out. And if you haven't already smashed that like button, give it a smash, but not, not like a proper smash, just, you know, click the mouse, like click the mouse, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started with the video. So we're gonna start with just different Father's Day design ideas, then I'm gonna get onto the targeting, and then I'm gonna get onto the psychology behind the targeting, and then I'm gonna get onto why you have got to make a shirt now. So, as you can see here, I have just searched Google for Father's Day shirts, okay? And let's zoom in because makes life easier and this is again just to get your creative juices flowing okay so daddy's first father's day this is brilliant right this is something we can easily target we wouldn't create this exact design but we could use this concept right so um you can say year one being a daddy right something like that or uh, father's day oh one something like that right you get the point okay then you've got basic ones like this happy father's day best dad ever now these designs will not work your design has got to be somewhat targeted now i know you're probably thinking well this design wasn't very targeted but it was because this design is targeting fathers who have just who only have one kid and that kid is less than a year old because it's their first father's day so that's pretty that's a pretty targeted t-shirt right whereas this one isn't really targeted it's just all fathers okay Am I childish? Yes. Nob. Okay, that's pretty funny Father's Day t-shirt, but not really Father's Day, right? World's best husband and daddy. That that could work, but it's not as targeted. This is a pretty funny one because um, I wouldn't do... Uh, the big man for Father's Day, you could do that and you could target people who have moustaches. So that's a pretty solid one because you have to understand targeting a father is already one level of targeting. And now we want to add it with one interest. And when we go to the ads manager over here, all right, I'm going to properly show you how to how to target. OK, so just keeping the juices flowing. Guns don't kill people. Dads with pretty daughters do. That is a very, very famous phrase and it's super easy to target because you just target fathers who like the second amendment number one dad in the world not much target there except maybe the mustache bit proud father of a few demos kids yeah that could work um, except you've got to bear in mind who's buying the t-shirt it's probably going to be the kid for the father and kids are not going to want to buy that um okay world's greatest father i mean father that is a brilliant brilliant design so Now that we've got the creative juices flowing, let's have a look at how to actually target a father on Father's Day. Because you have to bear in mind, you're not going to target the father because they're not going to buy themselves a t-shirt. You've got to target the wives. So let's go into traffic. 
And I, I hope that made sense because that was quite a, a light bulb moment, right? For me anyway, when I first realized this, when I was creating my Father's Day t-shirt, I was like, I can't actually, I can't actually target fathers because then no one's, no, no, they're not going to buy their own shirt and they're not going to target their kids and wives and be like, buy this for me on Father's Day. You want it to be a surprise. So the hard bit is targeting a wife who would like a similar interest as the father. So what we do is create an audience. Let's go. Location, you know, pick whatever location you want. So I would usually do United States, United States, because it's just so much bigger, right? It's just so much bigger. But then you can do all. You can do all all the countries. It doesn't matter. Age, okay. Age not so important. Detail targeting expansion. Let's let's do this. Okay, so browse demographics, parents, all parents now. New parents, zero to 12 months, right? You see this one here? This is how you would target this shirt, right? Daddy, first Father's Day, right? It's a new parent of a child who's under one years old, okay? And look at that, six million people. If I click this, look at the size, 740,000 people. That's pretty decent, right? So obviously, we don't want to do that shirt. We want to do all parents, right? All parents. And then let's add another one narrow audience because we want them to be married right and again i nothing wrong with divorce but the reason we want them to be married is because we want the wife to be buying the shirt okay so complicated that's hilarious okay so now we want um married domestic partnership is fine um open relationship is fine um engaged is pretty good because they would still be considered a father and yeah, I reckon I do that. Right, so you've got 42 million parents who are either in a domestic partnership, engaged, married, or in an open relationship. Now we want to just target women because we don't want to target men because we don't want to target the fathers. So let's target women. And this will shoot down to 24 million. Believe it or not, it's 40. That's weird how it's 42 million. But okay. We now have three levels of targeting, right? We've got women, we've got parents, and we've got their relationship status, or status, right? And now we want to narrow it even further. And this is where it comes into it, right? This field, I can't fill in for you. This is the field that you have to fill in. And when I say this, I mean, this is where the niche is so important. So let's just go back and have a look at... Um, so let's say we did the guns one. Obviously, we're not going to do this one, but let's say we did guns don't kill people. Uh, dads, pretty daughters do, right? Daughters, I don't know some daughters like that. Daughters, right? We would do Second Amendment, right? And now the audience goes down to 110,000. Bam! That is a brilliant audience size. Remember, we want the audience between to be between 100 and 300,000 people, okay? Now, there's more Second Amendment things you can do. You can just do guns. American guns, I feel like that might be a ban or something, so it might be the right thing. But let's do um, shotgun, I don't know, <laughs> shotgun wedding, or rifle, ah, national, the NRA, what am I thinking? Of course, the NRA, National Rifle Association, right? 1.2 million people, now that's a bit too targeted, so what we could do is narrow it further, right, with more gun-related things. So, Second Amendment... Uh, so NRA magazine because if you think about it if the the woman in the relationship is a fan of guns and the NRA and you know the second amendment you could be pretty damn well sure that they have married a man who is also into guns NRA all those kind of things right because people tend to marry someone who's got specific interests that they like and liking guns is quite a big thing in someone's life and I don't know, a, a woman wouldn't marry a man, in my mind, if they hated and despised guns, if they loved them, right? So it kind of makes sense that they both kind of like it, right? So you could you could Google different kind of, here we go, American Rifleman, Shooting Illustrated. So you can you can target different Shooting Illustrated. Is that, yeah, 425,000, that's going to go down a lot. 1,400 people. Okay, so that's too little, but you see my point, right? You can really target it down with magazines, with all these kind of things, and this is for the gun-related niche. So if you want to have a t-shirt of a different niche, keep the first two things here. Keep all of this, but just change this one. So let's remove this, and let's let's say we want to do uh, Dutch Hound. How do you spell Dutch Hound? Yeah, du 
that is what Dutch Hound. Yeah, Dutch Hound. Okay. Right, 15 million people. Right. 1.6 million parents, right, women, wives in a relationship who have kids will like Dutch Hounds. Now, you have to understand, maybe the men won't like Dutch Hounds. So what I typically do is pick a manly topic. So like I would pick cars, right, or something like that. Because if the woman is liking cars, so is the men. However, if the woman likes a Dutch Hound, it doesn't necessarily mean the man likes Dutch Hounds, right? You kind of get what I'm saying here, right? I know it's a bit of a, you have to do a bit of generalization going on here. That's the only way to really test. But if you think about it, it does make a lot of sense. Right, now we have done, we've covered the different design ideas. We've covered the different how to advertise. Let me just quickly tell you why it's so important to, to take action on this right now. <sighs> taking taking effect, taking not taking effect, taking uh, advantage of current times of the year is the best way to make money. And there's nothing wrong, nothing unethical about taking advantage of current times of the year. So... Father's Day is the 21st of June. It's very, very soon. It's two months away. If you bear in mind that actually creating the whole design, doing all of that, that could probably take you three days, right? And then when someone buys the shirt, it could take a week, it could take two weeks, it could take two and a half weeks, depending on where they live in the world to get their design. So you don't want to be doing a Father's Day shirt come June, right? Because they might not get their design in time. You want to be doing a Father's Day shirt now. You could probably do it from now until the first week of June or maybe even like a week and a half into June for the wife or the daughter or whatever to get, I don't know why I did inverted quotes, but the wife or the daughter to get the shirt to actually give it to the father on Father's Day, right? So that is why you have to start now. The reason why I say do Father's Day shirt is because it is just such a huge time it's such a huge day right it's a momental day mental is not the right word Momen mo monumental momentous something like that day and it's a everyone buys gifts for their fathers on father's day and a t-shirt is not so expensive it's not too cheap it's like a perfect gift gift like t-shirts socks wallets those are the kind of cufflinks those are the kind of perfect father's day gifts so a t-shirt is a brilliant gift right I don't know why I'm still trying to convince you to do a Father's Day t-shirt. Just just do it. And in terms of the psychology behind doing it like this, right, targeting the women, is usually the wives will see the ad, maybe target the daughters, or maybe even target their husbands and be like, I am so getting this for you on Father's Day, right? That whole kind of thing. So that is what, that's, the, that's the idea behind the targeting. And in terms of me giving you some designs, I said I would give you some kind of ideas. Well, Mix Father's Day, right? This is one idea that I had in my head and I thought I'd give it to you. Mix Father's Day with job titles, okay? So for example, this father is the world's best bartender or this father saves lives, right? Maybe he's a doctor, right? Or whatever, especially in the current climate of things with coronavirus, that's actually probably could be quite a good t-shirt. You could do this father has crushed uh, lockdown right or quarantine now that's going to be a bit harder if you do and let me just quickly say if you do a shirt that doesn't have a specific niche right you can literally just do parents who are domestic relationship engaged married open relationship women and then in order to narrow down this 24 million because it's huge just do it by age so just do 18 to 23 and it will it should go down yeah 43,000 people so maybe do 18 to 28 and it will go up to yeah 1.1 million so if you don't have a specific niche with your shirt so let's say it's just a this father is awesome right no niche there it's just that then this is what your targeting should be and to narrow it down you just uh, tighten the age gap of the the ad okay and then you can test different ages you can do 18 to 23 and then 23 to 25 and then 24 six to 31 right you can test different ads that would be my advice to you and again in terms of designs literally try job titles with fathers and try um try big niches like dogs guns cars but always have something related to fathers and then you can also do movies like you know the movies top gun you can do top dad that's what like, like the kind of idea that i did so you know i had the the company the 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 my shirt was, you know, Top Gear, right? The big TV show, everyone knows about Top Gear. So I targeted Jeremy Clarkson, uh, Richard Hammond, James May, all of those kind of people and did Top Dad, right? There's nothing wrong with doing Top Dad. And I targeted all those people. So all the wives who love Top Gear, you could assume the husbands love Top Gear and they're like, oh, I've got to buy this t-shirt for my husband. He'll think it's so cool, right? That is genuinely, generally the idea behind that design. 
And like I said, there are so many ways to do it and there's so many easy ways to target fathers on father, or wives of fathers on for Father's Day. So get cracking with your Father's Day shirt and leave a comment down below what you thought of this video. Do you like the idea of creating a Father's Day shirt? It could easily kickstart your business because a lot of you who are saying I don't have enough money, I don't have money to get started, I don't have this, I don't have that. Well, this Father's Day shirt could easily make you 10 grand and I, I hate to throw numbers out there and I don't like being unrealistic, but I'm saying based on personal experience, having a successful Father's Day t-shirt can make you thousands, okay? And that can kickstart your whole print-on-demand business. So don't miss out on an entire, on a Father's Day and have to wait an entire year for next year. Just get cracking with your designs now. There is, don't worry about competition or, or, the saturated market because there are thousands of designs and I can guarantee you this video is probably not going to get more than a thousand views right and if it does yay but I'm saying like the chances are not many people are going to be hearing what I'm saying so take advantage of that take advantage of the fact that I don't get many views and use that to your advantage and actually go out there and create a print on demand t-shirt so that's the for some reason motivational piece that I just did over and yeah want to say thank you for watching this video hopefully i'll see you in the next video i've got some really really cool ideas coming up and i'm looking forward to it so definitely hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification so that you know when i bring out those videos and you can be the first to watch them because a lot of them are going to be competitions and a lot of them are going to be giveaways and i want you to have access to them so just want to say thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video